All right, we are live. Welcome back to Slim Comics and more. My name is Sean, and I uh, went to my local LCS yesterday and uh, picked up, um, <clears throat> well, Wednesday, went to my local LCS and picked up some books. And uh, Thursday, I didn't have time to go live or anything like that. And I went to Walmart, picked up some Hot Wheels, so I'll be showing some Hot Wheels as well. <clears throat> All right, let's, uh, let's start off with some uh, Hot Wheels. So here's a sneak peek at my books here. That's how much I picked up. So I, on our vacation, I missed out two weeks of uh, some books. I um, heard Batman was a good one to pick up, but when I went to my local LCS, there wasn't any uh, what there wasn't any Batman left. But uh, let's start off with um, the Hot Wheels that I picked up at Walmart. Uh, this one here, this is a '69 Copa Camaro. So that is the Muscle Mania. This is a two out of ten. Saw some new, uh, saw some new models out there. So I had to pick up this one. I like the, I like the muscle cars. This one here is a 2018 Dodge Charger SRT Demon. So that is a 2018 Dodge Charger SRT Demon. So that is the Hot Wheels drag strip, uh, four out four out of ten. Nice looking model. Okay. And this is a new uh, 2022. This is a Lamborghini. Uh, Lamborghini Sion. FKP 37. So that is the factory fresh. This is one out of 10. Nice looking model. So that is the Lamborghini. Hey, Ramon. Uh, vacation picks and videos. Uh, thanks for sharing. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, bro, buddy. Um, yeah, we had a good time on our, our vacation at Cancun in uh, Niagara Falls. <clears throat> Fast two weeks, and uh, it was like boom, 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 really busy. Uh, got up early, most of the parts to go to uh, the destinations that we want to. But uh, yeah, it was a great trip. Um, yeah, love the Cancun trip. That was a nice one. Uh, Niagara Falls was uh, nice as well. Uh, Niagara, Niagara Falls, we uh, drove eight and a half hours to get there. Yeah, it's a nice looking Lambo. Uh, this is uh, another new one. This is a 68 El Camino. That is a Rod Squad, three out of five. Nice uh, casting and nice design. So that is the El Camino, 68 El Camino. Hey, Real, uh, Real Rude 6, how you doing? Hope all is well. Nice you guys hop in on a Friday morning. <clears throat> so I got like a interview at 11. So uh, I'm trying to get everything in before the interview uh, for this uh, new uh, job position. And, uh, <clears throat> and I have to go to work after that. So... All right, this is a McLaren F1. That's a nice orange McLaren. So this one is the Factory Fresh. Um, this is a four out of 10. Nice looking model as well. Yeah, I saw these at Walmart. <clears throat> these, are, um, these are fairly new because I haven't seen uh, these uh, models before. Uh, thanks, Ramon. This is a Ashton Martin V12 Speedster. It's a convertible. This is a, another factory fresh. This is nine out of ten. So well, there were some models that were left, and uh, I was able to pick pick these up. Let's see this one here. That's the Glory Chaser. Looks like an old school model. This is a Retro Racer. This is seven out of ten. Hey, Tony's. Uh, Tony's Diecast Customs. How you doing? Hope all is well, brother. Good morning to you. 
So pick these uh, Hot Wheels up at Walmart. They had uh, some fairly new stock. Yeah, it's a nice model. And uh, this uh, last one here, this was pretty cool. This is a concept model. This is a Hot Wheels kit concept. Kind of like the Knight Rider concept. But more futuristic. So this is the exotics, 4 out of 10. There you go. And the uh, last one, uh, this one here. I'm going to show this one here. This was, uh, what is this? This is the uh, Ragin Express. This is a art cars, three out of, three out of 10. Nice uh, Chinese dragon on the side there. It's a gold, it's a gold model. That's a, that's a cool one. So that is a Ragin Express art cars. Very cool casting. All right, so those are uh, the Hot Wheels I picked up. There's uh, some other Hot Wheels that I have that I haven't shown yet, but I'll show those later. Saying hi. Uh, love the Tune Collection. Uh, Batmobile is my favorite. Nice. Uh, nice casting, yep. Uh, yeah, they, these are nice castings. Um, I like these uh, new models. Saying hi. Uh, Raging Express is beautiful, especially that dragon. Yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice design. I like the the dragon. That is a nice model. Yep. Hey, Ronnie boy, how you doing? Hope all is well. So uh, let's get into my comic book pickups. <clears throat> this will probably be fairly a uh, quick video, <clears throat> so, but I went to Walmart and uh, picked up this one too. This is a Tops. <clears throat> Sorry about that. My voice is a little, little off. <clears throat> this is a Tops Chrome uh, Platinum Anniversary Edition. So I'll be opening that up uh, pretty soon. But this is my uh, comic haul right there. So missed out on two weeks, but uh, this is um, some of it is I think last week and most of it is this week. So this is a uh, cover by, but the series is actually pretty good too. This is Poison Ivy. This is on issue number three. Uh, cover is by Josh Middleton. Hey, comic book warm, how you doing? Hope all is well. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link. So if anybody wants to uh, hop in, feel free to hop in. Copy haul. Yeah, I got my haul for this week. Doing good, thanks. Uh, lots of comics. Yeah, um, it was a uh, another big week, but this is a nice Josh Middleton cover of Poison Ivy. That's a nice one. Yeah, I'm going to go through this really quick. I uh, just got to get ready for the interview. All right. Uh, this one here, this is a Catwoman 44. Um, for some reason, I think I got this, but I didn't bring it to C2E2 to have Jenny Friz inside it. So I, I missed out on that one. But uh, I'll bring this one next time uh, to C2E2 and uh, have her sign it. But uh, it's a nice, uh, nice uh, prison cover. That's a really nice one. Okay, and the last uh, DC book I picked up, there was only three that I picked up. This one here is an acetate cover. This is a Deceased. Uh, deceased War of the Undead Gods. Yeah. And, uh, so this is by James Tynion, or Tynion. This is the acetate cover. And that's the back. Show you some of the inside. Probably most of you already uh, picked this one up. Looking forward to reading this one. Looks good. It's by uh, James Tynion. All right. So that is it for my DC pickup. Uh, <clears throat> missed out on the Batman. Um, I forgot what number it was because I was on vacation. Uh, my shop ran out, so I probably have to go to a different shop to go pick it up. Let's see here. Let's 
see any Spider-Man or Batman. Um, yeah, I think I picked up some Spider-Man. Uh, let's see here. Pretty high. Nice cover. Uh, love the cover. Yeah, it's a nice cover. Uh, I need that one for my PC. Nice. Hey, Agu, how you doing? Hope all is well. Nice you to hop in. Uh, morning, John. How you doing? Hope all is well. Nice you guys hop in. <clears throat> Going to fly by these pretty quick. Uh, this one, a uh, new one came out, uh, Twig. This is a Twig issue number four. Uh, met Kyle Strom and Scott, and, um, uh, Scotty Young at C2E2. Was able enough to uh, get some of the first issues signed by both um, artists. But a uh, great story and a uh, great art by uh, Kyle Strom. Very nice guy, Kyle Strom. He drew a sketch of a Twig for me on, in my sketchbook. And uh, yeah, uh, very very cool guy. Scotty Young is uh, was there too, and a nice guy too. But uh, Scotty Young, he was charging now. He's charging now for like five bucks a, a pop, a book. So, I mean, uh, and Kyle Kyle Strom was free. So, so go figure. Uh, this is um, book one. This is from Image Comics onto the Independence. Now, this is a uh, Star Hinge. Uh, Twig is also a, an Image book. So this is Star Hinge by um, looks like uh, Liam Sharp, uh, the Dragon and the Boar. I haven't seen I haven't seen a lot of uh, Liam uh, Sharp's uh, art or or book, but uh, this one is written and illustrated by Liam Sharp. Kind of like a uh, dark and moody, like nice uh, black and white. And then has a uh, has some color in it too, but art is actually really good. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of Liam Sharp's uh, stuff, but uh, looking forward to reading this one. And uh, the artwork is a uh, yeah, it looks really good. So yeah, that is a uh, Star Hinge by Liam Sharp, issue one by Image Comics. Okay, another Image book. This is a uh, King Spawn. It's on issue thirteen right now. Nice uh, look at a violator cover. Uh, thanks for sharing, Sean. Uh, once again, good luck on the interview. Thanks. Uh, take it easy, Ramon. Uh, if you're if you're gone, uh, Batman by Chip. Uh, I'm not convinced. Uh, it's lacking for me. <clears throat> Didn't feel story matches. Uh, Jorge Jimenez powerful art art style. Nice. Okay, have to check that out. I think I I think I picked it up. So on the back here, you got uh. King Spawn issue uh, 14 for the cover, but this is a um, King Spawn issue 13. Hey, collectibles to astonish. How you doing? Good morning to you. Nice to you hop in on a Friday. Uh, I just showed some Hot Wheels. Now I'm going to my uh, my books. All right, this is from Aftershock. Um, this is Samurai Doggy uh, by Chris Tex in Santos. Looks interesting. Aftershock always, um, they have some nice uh, stories and nice books. Uh, this one looks interesting. This is issue one, uh, Samurai Doggy. So Chris Tex and Santos, they have their their info in the back there. That's how they look like. Show us on the interior. Looks like a good read. Artwork is a uh, artwork is actually pretty nice. Yeah, nice artwork. The artwork, uh, yeah, it looks really good. So, looking forward to reading this one. It's a fairly thick book. There you go. So that is a Samurai Doggy by Chris Tex and Santos. By Aftershock. All right, on to a new one. This is by A.W. Upshot. This is one out of five. This is Sacrament by Peter Milligan and Marcelo Frusin. Marcelo Frusin. But a uh, cool looking cover. More like a demonic type of book, looks like. Let's see here. Show you some of the interior. Here we go. Kind 
kind of like a exorcism going on there. But yeah, this is a new one. So segment by AW Upshot, one out of five. Cool looking cover. <clears throat> All right, uh, this one, uh, another image book. This is Eight Billion Genies by Charles Soule and Ryan Brown. Was able to have Ryan Brown sign my uh, uh, first issue. It's a it's a nice book by Charles Soule. Uh, good read. And uh, Ryan Brown's artwork is actually uh, you know actually decent. Show you some of the interior. Yeah, Ryan Brown. He was signing for free at C2E2. But I think Charles Soule, last time Charles Soule was, uh, I think one book is free, then the next uh, books, if you want to sign it, it's like five bucks. Have a great day, brother. Okay, Tony, um, have a good one. Take it easy. Okay, this is um by Image Comics. This is a new one again. This is the deadliest bouquet. That is a new one. That's the back. This is by Erica Schultz, Corolla Borelli, and the Gabe Contreras. Show you some inside. Well, that looks interesting. There you go. So that is the Deadliest Bouquet, the uh, new book, issue one. All right, so yeah, still a lot of uh, new new first issues coming out. Uh, this one uh, going on to Marvel now, so that is it for my independence. This is Ghost Rider issue number five. I believe this might be last week's, but um, I, I wasn't able to pick it up, but a uh, nice cover. There you go. Let's see, this is by uh, Benjamin Percy and Corey Smith. Show you some interior. But uh, so far, it's only only issue five. Um, good good stuff. And this one has Wolverine in it. There you go. So that is a uh, Ghost Rider issue number five. I believe this is just a. Uh, Yep, this is a regular cover. Okay, on to a new book that came out. Let's see, this is um this is Judgment Day. This is Avengers, X-Men, and Eternals. Judgment Judgment Day issue number two. Nice uh, looking cover there. So this one here. So Kieran Gillen is writer and Valerio Shitty is the or Shitey is the artist. There you go. Got some great interior artwork by um is it Shitey? Valerio. But that is a it's a nice book. I mean, the first issue was a uh, first issue was decent. Uh, this is Judgment Day, so you got Avengers, X Men, and uh, Eternals. That's the second issue. Okay, on to the Amazing Spider Man. So this one supposedly has um, <clears throat> uh, was it Oscorp developing uh, a new uh, Spider Man suit? This is the regular cover. This is on issue number seven. Amazing Spider Man issue number seven. And it, this is by the artwork is uh, I believe John Romita Jr. I can tell from his artwork. Uh, Zeb Wells and John Romita Jr. So looks like you get the vulture in here. John Romero Jr.'s artwork is kind of blocky. But that is um, issue number seven, The Amazing Spider-Man. Got also a um, <clears throat> the Predator variant. 
This is um Predator versus uh, versus Predator variant. And Spider Man's down below there. Yeah, the Predator came out today. I mean, uh, it came out uh, Wednesday. So that is a uh, one of the new books. On to Avengers fifty nine. So this one here is the regular cover. I believe this one also has like a first appearance. Let's see. Uh, this is by Jason Aaron and Javier Garan. Show you some interiors of Javier Garan. Pretty gruesome uh, hanging there. <clears throat> Cover uh, don't make sense, but amazing. Yeah. Some covers, yeah, you don't really make sense. Let's show you some more of the interior of this one. Hey, Frostbite, how you doing? Let's see, referring to, uh, yeah, the Predator, I mean, it's, it's a nice looking cover. <clears throat> Yeah, this one here. You got Spider-Man like in the tunnel, and then you got Predator at the top. But looking forward to the new series. Yeah, hope all is well, uh, Frostbite. Nice to hop in on Friday. So let's see. Uh, gonna check out what's new with this book here. Yeah, so it's a pretty much uh, Oz, it was Oscar Spider-Man suit. It's like the new, uh, <clears throat> they're making a new Spider-Man suit. Let's see what else here. I think the Avengers, yeah, this one has a full appearance of Reno Phoenix and the star brand kid. So it's like a first uh, full appearance in this one here. There is some of the interior. All right, let's see. On to a Captain America book. So this one here uh, is a Okay, got that redact redacted. So this is Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, issue number three. This is a uh, fear the redacted. Show you some interior here. Uh, it's written by Jackson Lansing and Colin Kelly, artist by Carmen Canero. Got nice interiors. Yeah, and that's a cool one. Nice uh, splash. All right, so that is uh, Captain America, issue number three, Sentinel of Liberty. Great cover. Yep. Okay, on to uh, Ghost Rider. So this is a new one. This is a Vengeance of. Uh, Vengeance Forever. This is a variant by Adam Kubert and Joe Kubert. It's kind of like a sketch cover. There you go. Nice uh, Kubert art. Show you some interior here. This is uh, Benjamin Percy and Juan Jose Rip is the artist. Uh, Ripe or Rip. There you go. It's nice, nice interior. So you have a uh, vengeance in this one, but that's a nice cover by the Kuberts, uh, Adam and Joe Kubert. Yep, Joe Kubert. And this is a regular cover. This is a nice uh, Bjorn Berens cover. I like this cover. This is a great looking cover by Bjorn Berens. 
you know. I think this one, uh, this one has a first appearance of Necro the Tattooist. So you have a Necro the Tattooist in here, first appearance. But yeah, it's a nice uh, Bjorn Barens cover. I like that cover. That's cool. All right, so that is a Ghost Rider Vengeance Forever. Okay, on to the Punisher. So this is on uh, issue five. Liking the story so far, and some interior here. Let's see, this is uh, another uh, Jason Aaron and Jose Zoss and Paul Azaceta. Seta. But nice, nice artwork. So that is a Punisher issue number five. Okay, on to so the new one that um is a uh, Predator by Marvel. So I picked up the David Finch cover. I picked up two covers. This is a David Finch cover. Nice looking cover by David Finch. I like his uh, artwork, but his artwork is a uh, it's, it's kind of dark. This one is by, let's see here, uh, Ed Brizen and Kev Walker. Let's show you some of the interior. I mean, it looks pretty cool. So that is uh, the Predator first issue by Marvel. And this is uh, the other cover that I picked up. This is another variant. This is, I believe, I think this is a Raza cover. Kind of like a in the dark. Um, but that is a nice, nice looking cover. So those are the two covers I picked up for Predator. But, uh, yeah, that's the first issue. Looks good. Hey, Kenneth Bird, how you doing? Hope all is well. Nice you guys hop in on a Friday. Hey, Adrian, how you doing? League of Her Own. Uh, nice you hop in. Hope all is well. Let's see here. I think everybody is wrenched. Okay, Adrian, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you a wrench there. Frostbite, uh, let me give you a wrench. Okay, looks like uh, everybody's wrenched. Unless I'm missing somebody. So everybody should be blued out. All right. Uh, Mountain Family, how you doing? Hope all is well. Nice you guys hop in. See, so they have Predator going after Marvel characters. Yep, um, yeah, Predator, that's a new book that uh, came out. Uh, I'm sure they're going to do Aliens, too, because they have the rights to both um, characters now. But uh, Predator looks looks interesting. I don't know if you guys seen the new uh, <clears throat> trailer to, like, the new type of uh, Predator movie. Uh, I believe it's, like, Prey or something. I'm not, not sure. Let's see here. Where are we at? The chat's here. Super cool looking. Oh. Saying hi. Uh, yep, you're welcome. Uh, doing well, bud. Yourself? I'm good. <clears throat> Just got an um, interview coming up um, at 11, so I'm getting through these books fairly quick. Then after that, I have to go work. But uh, other than that, it's Friday, so I'm good. This is my last day at my work because i'll be transitioning to a new uh, position uh prey was pretty cool yeah i pray so that's like type of like a new predator movie that's uh, supposed to be coming out or or is it already out? hey hamid how you doing hope all is well nice you hop in um so yeah uh i have uh this one here i got this from walmart 
the Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary Edition. So looking forward to ripping that up. All right, on to the books again. Uh, this is uh, Han Solo and Chewbacca. This is on issue five, but this is a <clears throat> um, the lightsaber variants. So they um, so they've been doing these uh, lightsaber with their characters uh, covers. Um, I thought it's a nice uh, nice covers, and um, I'm trying to collect most of it. And on the cover here is I believe uh, I forgot her name, uh, Reeve Trevis Trennis Trennis or something. And that's a nice cover of her. But this is a Chewbacca, um, Han Solo and Chewbacca. This is by uh, Mark Guggenheim and David Messina. Let's see, show me some interior. So, so yeah, so that is uh, the nice, um, they call it the Choose Your Destiny. So, so they, oh, wait, that's all right. Keep Trennis. There we go. Keep Trennis. So that is the, the the variant that um I'm trying to pick up most of it. I'm a Star Wars uh, fan, so uh, yeah, I like those covers. Uh, Prey is a pretty good movie. Uh, I enjoy it. Nice. Oh, okay, so it already came out. Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, work sucks, but it pays. Um, I'm at work now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't work too hard. Real rude. Uh, I recommend seeing the Sandman, finally a DC series worth watching. Yes, yeah, I saw the preview to Sandman. I thought it looks really good. Uh, so thank you, uh, making slavery more pleasant. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, on to <clears throat> another Star Wars book. So this one here is um, Star Wars Bounty Hunters. This is the, the Choose Your Destiny um, variant with the lightsaber. So this is Reva. So I believe she's uh, what they're saying. She's like the third sister of the Inquisit Inquisitorious or something like that. And I believe this is her first cover appearance. So Riva, nice looking uh, lightsaber. Pretty cool. Yeah, C two E two. They were selling those uh, lightsabers in the the booth. But um, I think they're like two hundred dollars or something or more. I'm not sure. They look cool though, but I I didn't want to spend too much. Uh, Cat fan, how you doing? Hope all is well. Cat fan, comic man, just popping in to say hi. Nice of you. Um, saying hi. Yeah, nice cover. All right, on to a Venom book. So this is a Venom Lethal Protector. This is a John Boy Myers cover. Great looking cover. This is on issue number five. Yeah, John Boy Myers, he's a cover artist mostly. Um, some great covers by him. Uh, this is a uh, David Michelini writer, and Ivan Fiorelli is the penciler. Show you some interior work here. There you go. So it's only on issue. It's only on issue number five. So. You're, you should be able to pick most of it up if you, if you like Venom. But that is a Lethal Protector issue five by this is a cover by um, John Boy Myers. This is A, B, C, D. This is a cover D. So there's a lot of different variants, but uh, you know, pick what you like. Okay, and the last one I picked up, this is uh, X-Men Legends. Let's see, this one, I think it has like a first appearance. Maybe. Let's see what it says here. So it's written by Roy Thomas. So this is X-Men Legends issue one. It has a nice, uh, nice looking cover of the X Men with Wolverine in the front there. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't really say anything. So chronology occurs. Okay. All right. So it's just basically written by Roy Thomas. But let me see who's the artist in here. 
Uh, David Watcher is the artist. I'll show you some of his artwork. So this is him fighting the Hulk. So basically, follows uh, looks like Wolverine chronologically. I think. Yeah, interesting quote. Mm. Okay. But it looks like a looks like a cool book. Um, if you like Roy Thomas stuff, and he is the writer on this one. So that is X Men Legends. All right, so that is my my haul, my comic book haul. Uh, missed out on some other books. Uh, X Men is my jam. Love Legends, nice. Yeah, I missed out on um, two weeks of books. Uh, missed out on the Batman because the Batman, I believe, has like a new character and stuff like that. Uh, probably have to go to other local LCSs and um, try to find that Batman book. But other than that, that is my haul. Then picked up the Connect. So basically, this is basically a preview for DC. And this is like a new one, the Riddler Year One, Paul Dano and Steven Subic. But it's got some, uh, you know, good, good previews coming up. Batman Incorporated, and then it shows some of the interior artwork as well. There you go, Sandman. Sandman's in the back there. Looking forward to seeing that series. So this is solicited for October. So basically all the books you see in here is for October. The Riddler looks actually pretty cool. There you go. So next video, I'll probably do an a, Next video, I'll probably do this uh, box opening here. This is a Topps Chrome Platinum Edition. Found this at Walmart. And then I'll be showing some more Hot Wheels and uh, books. But yeah, I mean, that, that's it, guys. That's my haul. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, have a great Friday. I have to... Uh, oh, how you doing, Bog? I finally caught your life. <laughs> caught mostly the, the tail end, but I hope all is well, brother. Um, yeah, I showed um, some of my uh, new Hot Wheel pickups. I like this one. This one's cool. This is the Raging Express. That is the Art Cars uh, issue. Uh, well, that's a uh, number ten out of three. Not issue. And then uh, picked up this uh, nice Lam Lambo. This is a nice Lamborghini. That is a Lamborghini Sion FKP thirty seven. Nice casting. Very cool. Yeah, I showed these in the front, so um, if you want to check it out, uh, just missed it. Nice cold version. Yeah. Uh, and this new concept kit is a 2022 model, so that's the exotics. That's the kit concept. Very cool casting on these. There you go. But yeah. Yeah, it's a sweet Lambo. Let's see if I think everybody, uh, cat fan, comic man, I'm gonna give you a wrench. Usually, anybody hops in here, I'll I'll um, give them a wrench. So you guys can check out each other's channels out. Uh, <clears throat> that's like a that's my way of you know growing together in the cop in the YouTube community. Yeah, I think everybody else is wrench. All right, guys. I'll, I'll watch it when I when I, I'll watch it when live is over. Okay, sounds good. All right, guys, <clears throat> gotta get ready to go work too, and uh, getting ready for this interview. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a great Friday and have a great weekend. Pick what you like and like what you pick. Have a good one, guys. All right, take it easy. Bye bye.